Hello, and welcome to another episode of Portal 2. I have a few minutes before work, so hopefully I will uh, pick a chamber that can be gotten through quickly. Oh, come on. Let's see. Sorry, that looks kind of big. Although size is really no uh, indication of how long it will take. Oh, let's see. Paint the town white. Here's a test chamber created by the user who goes by the name of Kazakh Brick, open bracket, FRC, close bracket. I've never played any of this player's test chambers. This one has 287 ratings and scores four little bluish green circles. Sounds good to me. Let's jump in and play it. You'll have to excuse me. I'm on my first cup of coffee for the morning. Would anyone like to know what the invaders from Earth-1 are up to inside our facility? I don't blame you. Yes. Bet it'd be fascinating stuff. But we don't have any multiverse invasion monitoring equipment. Asked for it, told it was stupid. Anyway, I hope these monsters replace our air with chlorine. If I don't give you crybaby something to cry about. Uh, if they replaced the air with chlorine, you would not be crying for very long. Let us get right into the chamber. And... He gets, we're trapped. Okay. We have a button that turns on a tractor beam. There is the exit door. Looks like it is triggered by placing a cube in this button. For some reason you cannot stand on that button. The square button and trigger it. Okay. Well, what have we, what can we do here? I, I see we have a place for a portal here. Uh, I do not see any place for a portal anywhere else. How do we get out of here? Maybe this button here. Ah. Okay, we have the gray goo, which will allow us to create a surface we can put a portal on. And we do it right there. And let's see, we put a blue one there. We shall place an orange one there. And step through to here. Okay, there we have a button which accepts the round cube. And over there we have another button. Not exactly sure what it does, but let us see. Now, ah, the round cube. Now all we need to do is get the round cube into the round cube holder button. I don't know, I think we can jump across the pit of sewage. While that may be possible, we may never uh, get out. Uh, let us see. Um, well, I 
Uh, we have the round cube. Let's see if we jump across there, we may be able to. Of course, we don't know what that button does. It has a little X and a little dot. An X. Oh, let's see, we have an X over here. What does that... See, I'm not sure what that does. I'll tell you what, let's just try... Yeah! Okay, we made it. Ah! Flips up a little panel. Excellent. Um... Now we appear to be stuck here. Yeah, there does not appear to be a way to get... <sighs> um... I have to say, that see, it, it, it appears that our only option now is suicide. I guess I could have dropped some... some of the gray goo onto there to give us a way out, but that's, uh, I don't know if you, if you have to commit suicide and be reincarnated, okay, we got some gray stuff there, uh, put some more there. And then let us put some against the wall there, like we originally did. There we go. And then put a blue one there. Orange here, and we step through. Now we can get the... Across here, place it in there, and just shoot an orange one directly under our feet, and we are back here. Okay. Ah, very good. Oh, well, let's see. We can. Uh, Uh oh, we just lost our portals. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's try not stepping on the button again. Uh-oh, a laser turret. Um, that do? Okay, it's got the little wavy thing. Where is the other little wavy thing?
Okay, what do we do at this point? I don't know. Okay, our options are um, flip that panel over. We can put a portal there. I mean, other than going back down there, is there any uh, real point in doing that? Now, if we step through there and it flips back around, damn it! If we step through there and it flips back around, we are once again in a position where our only option is to step through the Isn't it? There's nothing else to do down here, is there? No. No, if we let that flip back around, then we are again in a position where we have to commit suicide and start over. Okay. Where'd that come from? That wasn't there before, was it? What caused that? I just don't know. But we can step through here. Now, obviously, really the only thing to do here is to step on the catapult. Whoa! That was close. Okay. So what are we trying to do? We are trying to get a cube over there. We need a cube. Were we supposed to bring a cube with us? Well, I see that's under both of those. Wow. Well, I'll just move the blue there, orange there. Come back through here. Grab up the cube. Well, let's see. Blue. Cube. Step up the catapult. Come back here. Blue, orange. Run over here. Put this on here, and we are out of the test chamber. We have completed it. Um, I have to say that uh, having places where your only choice is to commit suicide, to be reincarnated, to start over is... Not really the uh, optimum way to build a test chamber. Um, other than that, uh, the logic was fairly simple. Uh, it was all pretty straightforward. Uh, your options were very limited and very obvious. Uh, as much as I hate to, I think I'm going to have to give that a thumbs down. Um, and uh, Kazakh Brick, open bracket, FRC, close bracket, uh, uh, don't take it too bad. Uh, as I 
have mentioned in my videos many times before, my only attempts at building test chambers are just really pathetic. It's very difficult. Um, if I criticize a test chamber, I'm really just hoping to encourage the test chamber makers to give it a more effort and just build great chambers because uh, I'd like to see a lot more great chambers. Uh, many of the test chambers, and there are like hundreds of thousands of them in the Steam uh, Workshop, a lot of them are fairly mediocre. Uh, but I think it takes a lot of time and effort uh, to make one just, like I say, mine really suck. I just slap things together and things I see from various other people's test chambers, nothing really original. Uh, but uh, Kazakh Brick, open bracket, FRC, closed bracket, uh, good luck in the future. I will uh, look for other test chambers of yours. And... Uh, I hope to see very good test chambers from you in the future. Uh, until then, my vast viewing audience, have a good day.